We're, we're out doing this old house here. This house actually burned down. People lost it on Christmas Day, um, which was a shame. But finally passed by and the owner was here and real nice guy said, yep, go ahead because they're going to knock this house down in a couple of weeks. But uh, so we just started in this yard. It looks like there might be some modern fill possibly in here. But uh, I just ended up digging a wheat penny, uh, I think right over here. And first kind of neat relic. I think this is some kind of a dog tag or something but you can see it says 1934 and I apologize for the wind noise but the school kill county 1934 so it's probably a, a dog tag or something but there's not much of the property here but we're gonna do around here and around the back a little bit and see what we come up with but if we find anything else uh, we'll get back to you and hopefully there'll be more all right guys uh, just put, called Dave over here and uh, I got that dog tag right there. I got the wheat penny right there. Came over to here. I had a signal that was a little bit choppy and I really didn't think it was going to be anything. I started pulling pennies out. They're all Indians. There was a spill of four different Indians. There's uh, a 1903 in there. Um, some 1880s. Here, that's 1888, 1903. Um, not sure on this one. Oh, get that out of there. Looks like 1880 something. And another one I believe was in the 1900s. I think there's two. Yeah, 1904 or six. But uh, all right, it's turning out to be fantastic. So we're gonna keep going. Hopefully we get some more to show you. And uh, stay tuned. This yard looks like it might be something. All right, guys. It's been a couple of minutes. Um, just made the first pass up through there. But uh, I got a deeper signal. And turns out to be what I think is a pocket watch. Or the, the cover to one. And it looks like it's got some fancy on it. You can see some designs on it. I'll, uh, I'll get this cleaned up. I'll show it to you in the wrap-up. But a cool little relic. It's not too bad. Meantime, Dave's back there, and he's finding... Hi, Dave. He's... Uh, more Indians. More Indians. Yeah, he, he picked up two more Indians back there, right around where I found that four-coin spill. And uh, not even sure, but when I went, I was going this way. He came at it this way, and he's pulling some more out. So uh, it turned out to be a nice little hot spot in the corner. But we're going to keep going. There's not much of a yard here. It's not that big, so... We try to get this done, but all right, we'll see you on the next. All right, guys, still at the house here. Um, just got another signal. I actually, I went back out front. We we pounded that front yard, and we got, uh, we both got a couple more Indian pennies. I didn't film them, um, but I'm up to about seven or eight Indian pennies, and uh, I think six or seven, something like that. A couple more wheats. And uh, I got a lot of clad down in here. We, we really didn't do too good down in this uh, this back area. But I was coming up through here. Got a halfway decent signal. Turned out to be a little earring. I don't think it's going to be silver or anything. I mean, it looks nice, but pretty sure it's just going to be a plated something. But it's a find. So we'll take it. But uh, it's getting a little bit late. And uh, we're going to... Just finish up the yard in here, and Dave's going to try a different coil out in the front just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And uh, then we'll be wrapping it up. So I'm going to do a short wrap up at the car so you can see what else Dave found. And uh, I'll see you on the next clip or on a wrap up. All right, guys, end of the day. Sun's getting ready to go down. Uh, we were at this house uh, for the, well, pretty much the entire afternoon here yeah unfortunately like i said this poor family lost a house on christmas eve or, uh, or on christmas day uh this year and uh we were talking to the guy that owns it he was here and a uh, real nice guy and they're gonna actually tear this house down and build a new house here for them but fortunately everybody got out and everything was okay but anyway as far as the uh the fines for today you saw that one clip where i found the four indians in one hole there uh, I ended up with six Indian pennies, and Dave got a few too, I'm going to show you in a minute. But um, I'll clean these up and get you dates. I'll do a regular wrap up like I normally do uh, once I get them all cleaned up. So I got six Indians, 
I got about, uh, let's see, about four, yeah, four wheats. I got another Canadian scent. Um, you saw in that one clip there, I got that uh, dog tag there from 1934. I found this earring. I don't think it's silver. I think it's just a plated job. Um, I found this. I'm not sure what it is. It does have a design. I don't think it's silver. Um, didn't ring up like it. It's not cleaning up that good, but it has a design. So I'll clean it up and show you. This was the, I believe, the pocket watch cover that has some design on it. I also found uh, that bunch of clad right there. A um, piece of, a, of an older lock and a couple of buckles. Uh, Dave got on a few things too. He found this really neat token. It's like a uh, five cent trade token. Uh, he scored three more Indians. And uh, what else? He got a wheat penny. And are these wheats here? No, they're no just these are just clad. Yeah. And he found this really cool. We're not sure if it's a, if it's a knife or a razor blade, but it's a bone handle. So it's some kind of a, a utensil of some sort, but um, kind of cool. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's got to have some age on it because it's got the bone, the, the bone handle on it. But anyway, that was our hunt. I will get the stuff cleaned up and I'll show you a little bit better in the next wrap up. And uh, all right, we'll see you on the wrap. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to do a quick. Uh, video uh, i just did a wrap up there at the car um, but i cleaned everything up and I'm just going to do a real quick uh, wrap up on the things that me and dave found yesterday uh dave's supposed to be putting out a video so uh once he does make sure you go over and check out that um be wyoming valley relics i'll leave a link um at the end of this but anyway real quick so in those clips there is the uh, the dog tag. I think this was the first thing that I found that I filmed. Uh, it says Schoolkill County, PA, number 9982, and it's from 1934. So that's a pretty neat find. I'm happy with that. Uh, I found an earring that's a little bit of a junker. Um, it's just plated something or other, not silver or anything. Uh, this item here, I almost threw it away. I thought I picked up a piece of scrap, but if you look very closely after I cleaned it, it says Anheuser-Busch St. Louis, and it's got that fancy design on there. I'm not sure what that was, obviously related to Anheuser-Busch products. I'm not sure what it was part of, but pretty neat find. This here was the, what I called a pocket watch uh, cover, but I'm pretty sure with this little uh tab on that side there i'm pretty sure this is a compact lid but there's a little little design on it there which is pretty cool i cleaned it up best as i could but you can see some of the little fancy there on it uh found a piece of a got a padlock old padlock there nothing but the one side and uh brass d buckle with the iron uh, tongue on it and another iron buckle as far as the coins uh, in clad I ended up with three nickels uh, six dimes two copper pennies and three crusty zincs <laughs> uh, the good coins that I found um, these are the wheat pennies now I did have to clean these up um, and as you know sometimes when you clean them up you lose a little bit of detail but at least you're able to see dates on them so from left to right, there's a 1919, a 1919S, um, a 1929, and a 1944. And I try to bring it up to see if we can see it. Well, you can see the 44, I think, on that. Yeah. And there's the 19 comes out on there. This here is a Canadian penny. Uh, I found one on the last trip I was out. This is a 1969, so I just kept that off to the side. Now, the other coins I found were Indians. Um, you'll see two of them I didn't clean. The other ones had some crusty stuff on it. I did try to remove it. Um, but as you saw in that one clip, four of these Indians were in one hole. Found the, uh, the other two in the front yard, and Dave also found three. So there was something going on. There was a whole bunch of Indian head... Uh, pennies scattered around that front yard but 
I'm not sure what the first one is. The date is pretty much toasted off of it. Even after I cleaned it, I can make out the 1-8, but nothing else. So we know it's 18-something. Uh, the next one is not in bad shape at all, even though I cleaned it up. Uh, 1883. There's an 1896 next. 1903, 1904, and a last year, let me see if I can get it to focus, a last year Indian of 1909. So all in all, it wasn't a bad little hunt. Uh, we were going to return to the place we were at last week. Lady wasn't home. We only uh, want to go there when, when she's there. Um, so we found another permission to door knock on, unfortunately, that family, like I said, they lost their home on Christmas uh, Christmas Day this year. Uh, we were talking to the, to the homeowner, really nice guy. He happened to be there, so we stopped to talk to him, and he gave us permission. He said, go right ahead, because they're going to knock the house down in two weeks, and uh, they're supposed to build a new house. So I'm glad that at least you know that worked out for him. But they owned the house for 74 days. They woke up on Christmas morning, them and the kids opened presents, then they went to uh, their family's house for dinner, and they got a phone call from the neighbor that their house was on fire. So another uh, spooky thing, while we were there, every once in a while we can hear a smoke alarm chirping, uh, the low battery chirp on a smoke alarm. So after all these months, after a couple of months, four months, uh, they still had a smoke detector in there that was you know, active, so... That was kind of scary, uh, kind of creepy, you know. But anyway, that's the hunt. Hoping to get out and do some more soon. Um, going to depend on what the other guys are doing. And if I can get out on my own, uh, we'll do that. I'm trying to do a lot more uh, collaboration hunts, especially with uh, Dave from Wyoming Valley Relics and Chris from Detecting NEPA. So uh, we're going to try to make that happen, get some more hunts in together. And I'll probably get out a little bit here and there on my own. So, all right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Good luck out there, those of you that are treasure hunting. And uh, be safe, and we'll see you on the next. Thanks.